Hello everyone. Today we are going to learn how we can use Facebook's Vec to Vec model for the implementation of speech to text, right? So as you know, there are a lot of applications that are associated with speech to text. And my name is Shazeb Hamid, and this is the thing that we are going to learn today, right? So uh, first thing first, uh, there are two things that you need to do that. Uh, you sh are going to do this in Google Colab and after that the uh, you know voice that we are going to use is this one let me bring that sample audio and paste that right here okay so it will be right here and after that what I'm going to do is I am going to first import a few libraries so the first library is audio the second library is wave file and the third library is numpy so let's bring them so from i python dot display import audio this is the first library right and the second library is web file so it is available in scipy dot io so let's import it last library is numpy so there we go we have all three of these libraries written right so now let's try to import them okay so it is saying that there is uh, no module named ipython let me see that yes this p must be larger right so let's do this again and let me put in a few more cells and now what i'm going to do is i'm going to tell it the name of the file so the name of the file is sample audio so let's write file name is equal to sample and uh, dash audio dot wav and after that we are going to use the audio library right and in audio i'm going to write file underscore name okay so now let's run them okay so this is the file subscribe to my channel subscribe to my channel right so what are we going to do we are going to try to convert this into words right with the help of Facebook's vec to vec which is available in Transformers library. So let's do that. The first thing that we need to do is uh, we need to actually use this library web file and later we are going to use Transformers library. So first let's write data is equal to web file dot read and in this I am going to write file underscore name. After that what I'm going to do is I'm going to write frame rate is equal to data at zero and after that I'm going to write sound data is equal to data of one right so data of zero is frame rate and data of one is equal to sound data then I'm going to write time is equal to np dot arrange so we are using numpy arrange function right and the first value will be zero and the last value will be whatever is the length of sound data so with the help of this what we will be able to do we will be able to get the time right and by dividing it with frame rate there we go after doing that let's print out frame rate right so let's print frame rate and after that let's print total time which will be length of sound data divided by frame rate right so print this will be total time let's actually write total time this time because total time and then I'm going to write out of this length of sound data right 
sound data divided by frame rate later we are going to use these things to develop our uh, you know transcript right so there we go this is the frame rate and this is the total time that is available in this as you can see it's also similar okay so what is the next step the next step is actually to install transformer library if you have already installed it then you can go to the next step so transformers so let's send this and in the meantime let's add a few more code rows okay so after doing that what is the next step the next step is we are going to import sound file so let's write import sound file as sf other than that we are going to import librosa so let's write import librosa and we are also going to use torch right so import torch and at the end we are going to import facebook's vec to vec model right so uh, for using that uh, first what we need is uh, vec to vec tokenizer right and as well as its uh, model uh, downloader right so for that i'm going to write from transformers import so one is the tokenizer and one is the other one right so wave to vec to for ctc and after that i'm going to write wave to wec to tokenizer so tokenizer okay so these are the two things that we are going to need so let's run that and right after that let's develop the tokenizer and model so tokenizer as you can see that has been done so tokenizer is equal to wave to wec tokenizer that we have uh, you know taken and uh, from pre-trained what we are going to do we are going to download those models so from pre-trained and let me bring in the name of the model so that i don't make any mistake okay so this is the name of the model right and after that uh, what is the let's actually copy this and let's paste this all here okay uh, so that there is no mistake here as well okay uh, so this was the tokenizer and the second was the model so model is equal to this one right dot from pre-trained and let me bring in the model actually the model is the same uh, the thing that we copied before is the same thing that we are going to copy again right so this and this is the same so let's paste it again and let's run this okay so now it will start downloading the model right and after the model is downloaded what is the next step the next step is to use librosa to load the file into input audio and then uh, use that to get the uh, text out right so the first thing is input underscore audio comma underscore is equal to librosa librosa dot load and in this i'm going to write file underscore name comma sr is equal to 16000 right and after that we are going to enter a few input values so let's write input values is equal to tokenizer so we are going to get it from tokenizer and now we are going to write input underscore audio and then we are going to write return tensors is equal to 
pt dot input underscore values after that we are going to write logits is equal to model input underscore values dot logits okay so after that i am going to write predicted underscore ids is equal to torch dot arch max and here we are going to write logits and then dim is equal to minus one at the end i am going to say that text is equal to tokenizer dot batch underscore decode and then predicted ids right so something like that so let's do that and after that let's try to see what is the text so there we go the text is subscribed to my channel and this is the same text that uh, is from this audio right so this is the way you can perform uh, conversion of audio to text in any file so that's it for today